So I'm currently winding up a narrow road on the way to Klingman's Dome, getting ready to go meet Dan the Ultra Dad. I uh, just got up to Klingman's Dome. I'm waiting on Dan to arrive and then we can uh, get my vehicle and leave. Uh, the actual observation deck is up that way. It's about a, maybe a half a mile hike, uh, pretty much all uphill to the observation tower up on one of these <laughs> one of these tops. It's uh, 6,300 feet up here. Definitely a lot cooler. Uh, I'm glad that I'll be working when I'm coming up here as far as running or hiking. So I'll be warm because it's chilly. Beautiful, incredibly beautiful though. Definitely makes me miss the mountains even more. Look who it is. We got Danny out today. Hey, what's going on everybody? <laughs> just, How's it going? He just got here. We're gonna head out to uh, Fontana Dam about an hour and a half away so we got to get moving it's getting dark and cold it is cloudy <laughs> and getting dark so we'll see you later yeah. well we just made it to the dam we are at fontana it's still raining and thundering and lightning pretty good right now but uh it feels really good temperature wise is awesome it's like 68 degrees there's dan take, take a look you can kind of see the lights of the dam going through there that is the actual fontana dam you won't be able to see much of it because it's dark we're going to be out of here before it gets daylight tomorrow but it still looks Kind of cool with all these old lights here. Oh, good morning. Uh, alarm clock just went off. It's 5:15 Eastern time. Gotta get ready to run. All right, well, we're about to get moving. Uh, a little behind our schedule, a good bit. We wanted to leave at like six, and it's 6:32, but it's you know it's all good. We're not on any like real time constraints, so we got headlamps, so it doesn't matter if it gets dark, we'll be fine. But it's a uh, Pretty good morning. It's not hot. It's pretty fairly good temperature, a little humid. Once we start climbing, we're gonna get hot, but it's gonna be a good day. And uh, Dan's gonna get some good vert today. Ready for a wash out? Absolutely. All right, it is about go time. We're on the dam. The official start point of SCAR, the Smoky Challenge Adventure Run, is the boundary sign on the other side of the dam. But we'll probably go ahead and start running here fairly soon so we can get moving because it is getting daylight. We need to get moving. It's cloudy, kind of dark clouds that way. Hopefully no, no storms today, but we'll probably get wet. Not probably, I, we will. And hopefully no lightning. All right, let's go do this. Ready to do this? Yeah, let's do this. Heck yeah, man. Let's do what we can to do. All right, this sign right here, this is the boundary sign. That is the official start point of the Smoky Challenge Adventure Run. We're doing a little less than half of that. All right, we are just now getting up to the Appalachian Trail. Well, we're technically we're on the Appalachian Trail. This road is it, but we're turning off now on a single track. Molly's Ridge, 9.9. .9, that's gonna be where we'll uh, refill water. Yeah, we're about, yeah, I got 1.9 miles in. 876 feet climb so far. We're just taking it easy. Beautiful morning. Woo. Sweating like crazy already though, because it's humid. But it's a good day. Well, we are five kilometers into this. 1600 feet of climbing so far. Got Dan in the front. Setting pace and we're feeling good. Just temperatures are awesome. Humidity though, sheesh. We were both just pouring sweat. Check this out, yes. folks. Look at this. All right, so we got this opening right here. Look at that. We're just can't wait to run another 27 miles. This would be sketchy if it was frozen over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a cliff. A couple trees that might stop you. <laughs> so we took a little detour. It's not, but maybe a tenth of a mile maybe a little bit more up to Shuckstack Fire Tower. I didn't see it last time I was up here because it was pitch black, so. Made it to the top of the tower. This is awesome. Enjoy the view. So I decided to go with the uh, Pulsar Trail instead of the Pulsar Trail Pros today. Just because the Pulsar Trail is tried and tested for me, I know it's an amazing shoe, 
and the Trail Pro, the heel, there's not much padding. And I didn't want a chance having any issues on a long run like this where I don't have the opportunity to like, you know, change shoes. So I'll probably wait till next weekend at my race and I'll, I'll take them there because if I have issue, good thing about a loop course is I can change shoes after three and a half miles. So I'll test them there. All right, we're about six and a half miles in almost. Uh, almost 3,000 feet of climbing. <laughs> it's a lot of climbing. But we're in a nice uh, kind of section where it's just a lot of rollers, like runnable ridge stuff, which is nice. Feeling good. It's just a good day to be in the woods. The sign back there said we're about three miles from Molly's Ridge Shelter on the AT, which is where we will uh, get some water. There's supposed to be a spring there. A little bit off trail, not much maybe a couple hundred feet hopefully it should be trickling pretty good because it's been raining a lot so we'll fill up water and be on our way once we get there how you feeling dan feeling good feeling good getting my bird in yes sir That's yeah what I asked for. we're almost 3500 feet in That's right still got a lot more to go <laughs> Seven thousand feet more Woo! publish i just uh create the video yeah and it does all the rendering at the same time. And we made it to Molly's Ridge and the only uh, occupant is a squirrel. What's up, buddy? All right, and some bees. <laughs> We're headed down off the AT right now to the water source to hopefully filter some water. It's, I, I don't think it's very far off of here. Hopefully we can see it because it's really, really overgrown right now. Should, if I remember correctly, it's just a small pipe coming out the side of the mountain. But we'll see, we'll see. So the water at Molly's Ridge is flowing well. Uh, it tastes really nice and cold. Dan's over there filtering right now. So we're just about done and getting ready to head back up to the AT and keep on towards the next. We got um, a little over 11 miles, close to 12 before the next planned water stop. Also today I'm wearing the Solomon uh, Advanced Skin 12 set vest. This is the new one. Um, so far, really, really liking it. The uh, capacity, the pocket systems are all just Really good, I can carry a lot of stuff. So we'll see how it feels the rest of the run, but super comfortable. Here, 10 miles in, something like that. 11 three. 11 three, having a great time out here with my buddy off the trail, Steven. Well, the rain has started. It feels really good, I gotta be honest. It was getting warm, but it feels good. Hopefully you can hear me. We're just moving along really well, uh, you know, easy. We're 16 and a half miles in. 5,500 feet of climbing. Dan and I are just talking YouTube. Which is pretty cool to chat with another content creator and see what they do and just kind of, yeah, talk. Talk the business side of things. Pretty cool. So way off in the distance, we can see Fontana Lake, which is where we started our adventure today. And we've come along those mountains uh, out that way. Up here, we're almost to Thunderhead. Thunderhead Mountain is right up there in the clouds. So we gotta go up there. We have a good view, but with all that cloud cover coming in, it's probably gonna be obscured. The rain feels amazing though. I'm absolutely loving it. Splashing in the puddles like a kid. back there somewhere coming. We are almost to the top of Thunderhead Mountain. Just a little bit more through the narrow path here. Unfortunately, our view is gonna be pretty obscured today as it's, uh, as you can tell, quite, quite cloudy or smoky per se, since it's the Smoky Mountains. There's Dan. What's up? This is Thunderhead. This section is very slow going coming off of Thunderhead because it is so rocky. I mean, it's just, they're very loose. So we can move okay, but it is thundering. Doesn't sound like it's too close, thankfully. We are on a steady descent 
about probably a mile or so. It's a good downhill, but really, really rocky. And it's basically a creek right now. It, it is thundering, there is lightning. I don't think it's coming to the ground, but can't really tell. I'm trying to move as safely as we can, but it's hard to see the rocks because there's so much water in the trail. But we're making headway. So this shelter is uh, long, <laughs> at least from my mileage charts that I had. I said it was supposed to be about like 22 miles, but I'm at 22 and a half, and we have not seen it. The reason we want the shelter is that's where our water source is to get more water. And Dan and I both need to refit. We need to get, uh, he needs to mix up some more um, electrolyte drink. I need to mix up some more tailwind. Get some food out of the back of the vest. I got one more flask of water right now, but we should be close. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere. All right, well, we finally found the aid station. Well, aid station, <laughs> the uh, shelter. It was a little over 23 miles, so it said it was supposed to be about 22. But we found it. We got full water. We stopped and ate a good bit of calories. I ate a whole uh, fig bar as well as a lar bar, so I got a good amount of calories. Hopefully that'll keep me good for at least another hour. We've got 7.2 miles, supposedly, to the next water stop that we have so semi-planned. And then from there, it's only maybe three miles, <laughs> in theory. <laughs> like that one was supposed to be 22, so we'll see. Feeling pretty good, though. We're moving, you know, legs feel, I feel pretty good. Dan's moving well. Um, you know, look at this trail though with this fog. It looks pretty cool. Well, we just crossed over the marathon distance with uh, over 8,500 feet of elevation gain. Currently on a downhill. We've got about 7.3 miles, according to that sign back there, uh, till Clingman's Dome. Dan's back there a little ways. He's kind of getting getting in the pain cave a little bit. He's pushing through though. He's gonna be fine. Getting good bird on his legs for right now. So I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, my legs are tired. You know, we've done 8,600 feet of vert, but uh, overall I feel really encouraged. Ultra dad, doing ultra things. All right, we are at uh, Double Spring Gap Shelter. And this is mile 29.5. So we've only got like probably three miles, um, maybe maybe four miles to the to the uh, to, to the dome to finish. So Dan is down getting a little bit more water. I'm not gonna get any more water. I've got this full flask here. I've got one in the back, a little bit of tailwind here. I think I'll be good because I've really honestly not been sweating as much in the last couple last couple hours. Um, so the pavement's been pretty chill. So. Uh, I think I'll be okay to get down there, and if not, I think there might be, I'm sure there'll be a creek or somewhere. I mean, there's been plenty of water because it's been raining so much, but uh, yeah, this is a um, cool shelter. We got a good bit of climbing still. We've got probably 1,100 feet of climbing left, maybe more, uh, up to 1,500, I think, maybe. So uh, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a climb. The climbs are, are getting down a little bit right now, so We'll keep moving and we'll get her done. There he is. We're gonna go that way. Pretty darn cool, I gotta say. The views are nice. We are in the rhododendrons. So beautiful up here. We gotta be close to 6,000 feet up right now. Somewhere near that area. Almost 10,000 feet of climbing. You guys, I wish there was a way I could convey the smell through this video. It just smells so amazing. It's all the evergreen trees and like the ferns and the moss. It smells like you have a Christmas tree in your house. Oh, it's just so awesome. This always reminds me of like, um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. A little bit, you know, like New Zealand, I guess. All right, 
right, we've only got, I don't know, one and a half miles maybe, maybe less, hopefully less. <laughs> We're moving well up this climb. We haven't gotten to the real steep part towards the final ascent. It is a beautiful day in the woods. Way up there is the dome. That's where we're headed. I don't know. We're getting close. We still, it looks like we're going down a little bit. Then we're gonna have one more climb. I stop now. <laughs> right. All the way up. That's right. We made it to the tower. Running up. Running up. Finishing strong. In the dome, buddy. That's a good climb. Yeah. We did it, Dan. Mm. We did it, Dan. Nailed it. 30, yeah. almost 34 miles. 11,000, 11, yeah. almost 11,200. That was awesome. Killed it, man. Thank you for taking me on that, that was fun. adventure. That was so fun. We still got about another half mile down to the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Way back behind me there. It's Fontana Lake. That's where we started this morning. It's been a haul. It's been fun. And here's the cars down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> These are centers actually open, looks like. And the door's open. Yeah. All right, we're back down at the car now. Uh, fantastic run, just gorgeous. But gotta give a huge shout out to Sullivan for the Advanced Skin 12 set. This thing was amazing. Super comfortable, uh, like no chafing, no rubbing, just held everything I needed and just awesome. Love this vest so far. This is what 34 miles in mostly pouring rain or a good bit of it looks like and does to your feet. Hold on, warning, about to see nasty yeah. feet. <laughs> But no hot spots. Exoskin socks, nailed it. The, the uh, Solomon Pulsar trails, by far my favorite trail shoe. Don't know, you probably couldn't see it, but there were some elk in the field back there. It's about the only wildlife we've seen. And a turkey. Okay. It's a good run, good, fun, awesome meeting Dan. Just a great guy. And uh, we got a lot in common. It's pretty cool, so we had a good time. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. You know, uh, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, that'd be cool. And hey, if you haven't checked it out already, take a look at that Beaverhead video. It's really good. I'm, I'm biased, but it's good. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.